In the next few videos, we will talk about the typography tools inside Adobe Illustrator. Now, quick note here, all of you guys who have the CC version of Illustrator, you will see your typography tools group right here in the tools panel. And all of you guys who have the pre-CC Illustrator version, you will see your typography tools right here instead of this curvature tool right here. And since I do have the CC version, I am seeing the curvature tool, tool right here and uh, the typography uh, typography uh, tools are right here. And uh, since I know that many of you work still on C uh, CS6, CS5, I still sometimes work on CS6, let me just detach this group right here so that I don't have to go back and forth to this uh, typography tools group. So if you don't want to, if, if you don't know how to detach a, a tools uh, group from your tools panel, simply click on this right edge of, um, of your tools group, just like so, and you will be able to detach your, your panel just like so. The first tool that we'll talk about in this video is of course the typography tool or the type tool which has a very handy letter uh, shortcut of the letter T. So the basic two ways of how this tool works is of course when I simply click on my uh, on my artboard like so and I start to type I'm going to create a, a point type just like so. So all we need to do is to simply click on, uh, on the artboard and start typing, start typing what we want to what we want to type just like so. Now the other way of creating typography using the type tool is to click and drag to create a text box and what the, this um, well way of creating typography inside Illustrator is, is to create paragraphs. So let me just type in quickly typography tools in Illustrator. And uh, actually, this um, well, this distinction here is is pretty important because there may be times when you will, well, you may get frustrated why you can't use some paragraph options with the, the with the type that you created using just a point the point type. I mean, if you just click and create your typography, you won't be able to 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 use all these paragraph paragraph options right here. And however, if you create your type using the method that we just saw, so if uh, the, so if you just click click and drag to create a text box, you will be able to use all of these paragraph functions right here. There's one more important implication when creating uh, these uh, well pieces of text um, with, the, with these two methods. If I just grab this uh, typography uh, text right here um, with, the, with the selection tool, and if I simply start moving it, or well, try to move if I just grab it by this little end right here you can see that I'm distorting the text of course if I hold down the shift key I'm gonna be um, I will be able to to change uh, change its size proportionately just like so and however if I grab this text box just like so you can see that I'm just adjusting the text box I am not adjusting the text inside this text box so again if I'm if I just grab it you can see that I'm adjusting the text box right here and as I said, you can simply well, triple click in, the, in, in this case to highlight this whole text. And if you go to the paragraph options, we got all these uh, options right here. And uh, these three options, like align left, center and right, are pretty obvious. But uh, we also can justify with the, li with the last uh, line uh, aligned uh, left, just like so. We can, of course, make, it, make the last line go to the center, to the right, or justify all lines, just like so, to create um, well an effect that, that is looking like this. Of course, I can still adjust this text box, and you can see that I'm adjusting uh, the, um, well, the spaces between all the letters, just like so. Now, before we move on to the, another tool, I think it's a, I think it's a good time to uh, share with you some some really handy Illustrator shortcuts that I usually uh, that I usually use. So, if I just uh, select all the, this, uh, well, all these pieces pieces of text, and if I simply hold down Control Shift and the less or more than a symbol or less or greater than a symbol, you can see that I am quickly adjusting the size of my of my text. So I'm simply holding down Control Shift and now I'm clicking or pressing uh, the greater than or less than symbol or comma or period, if you will, just like so. And another handy shortcut in Illustrator is to simply grab a piece of text in this case. Now I'm going to hold down the Alt and the Shift keys together. On a Mac, it hold down Option and the Shift keys. And I'm simply going to press the down or up arrow, which is basically 
um, adjusting the baseline shift and it will work really really handy well it, it will be really really handy when we work uh, with the with the um, type on a path tool so alt plus shift plus uh, up or down arrow and we can adjust the baseline shift the, the position on the baseline uh, of our text so there we go the, these are the basics of using the typography well the type tool inside illustrator in the next video we will talk about using the uh, the area type tool which is the second tool in our typography tools group